Welcome to State of Tech Android Tablet App of the Week. Today we're going to take a look at the Business Calendar. Now this is an app that uh, I just recently discovered for my Android and I'm using it on my Android phone and my Android tablet and to be honest the Kindle Fire as well. Um, it is a all-in-all -all great calendar experience for your Android device. Now one of the things that uh, gets annoying to me about using a calendar in an Android is that each Android device has its own different calendar and most of the time some of those calendars aren't very useful. Well this business calendar is available in two different versions free and a currently a $4.99 version. I actually purchased it through the uh, the Amazon Android App Store on my device so that I can get it um, get access to this app on my Android phone, my Android tablet, and the Kindle Fire. So um, what I've done is I've installed all three of the different types of widgets which are available um, once you install this app. Of course, like I said, there's a free version that's ad supported and then there's also a uh, $4.99 version that uh, is their Pro which doesn't have ads and uh, that's what we're taking a look at is the pro version. However, I could recommend going and downloading the free version to get a good look at it and decide whether or not you want to get that $4.99 version. So um, I'm going to go ahead and launch this app. It's a business calendar here. And what it does is it loads a full screen calendar and it gives color bars based on how much activity I have going on for that day. And it's spaced throughout the day. So if I tapped on today's date, I get this little pop-up that shows those different things. It doesn't change my screen completely unless I go and tap on that again, and then it changes to my day view. Um, I have an add event tab at the top. All I have to do is tap add event, and I can go in and add everything. What's really cool is it still shows me over on the right-hand side um, what I have available that day. And all I have to do is tap and drag on that new uh, event that's showing up over there and adjust the time. Alternatively, I can tap on the different boxes and fill in that information myself, uh, but it's kind of neat how I can do that. Of course, this supports multiple calendars. When you install the application, it's going to load all available calendars uh, from your email addresses and even the calendars that you've already created inside your device. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get out of this uh, new event um, because I don't necessarily need to, to go through this. Um, as far as the details that you can add for a new event, it's fairly uh, the same. Uh, you know, you can set alarms and all that stuff. This app also has its own alarm system built into it. So uh, when you set alerts and stuff like that, you can allow the app to do that or you can allow the device to do that within the standard calendar app. Um, I'm more of a fan of disabling the uh, standard calendar apps, uh, alerts, and all that stuff altogether, and using uh, this app. So that way I have the same types of alerts going off on my other devices. All right, so down at the bottom I have a different color um, that shows up so that I can see which calendar shows up in which color. It's kind of like a key, I guess you could call it. Um, so uh, what's really cool though, I mean, of course you can manage your calendar fully in here. It looks good in both rotations um, and it's easy to, to use. If I go into settings, uh, let's just go ahead and do that really quick. We can view an agenda, do a search, view today, go to, show the text uh, instead. So maybe you don't like those colors and having to tap, um, you know, to get it to pop up, you can have it show the text which uh, if you have a lot of stuff, if you use your calendar for a lot of stuff, this is gonna be kind of a busy looking view, which may be a little overwhelming for you. However, um, if your calendar is, is not too cluttered, then uh, this, is a, this is a decent view to use. If I tap on more, I can view the different calendars, I could sync it. There are general app settings, which allows me to set up my quick navigation, when my core hours are, like my start and stop time for the day, um, first day of the week, all that stuff. There are some, some different settings in here for colors and actions as you do different uh, things with the app. But let's get out of the app and actually look at the widgets. I like widgets, especially when they work really well. There are three types of widgets that this app comes with, and each of those widgets comes in different sizes and then has different settings. Um, there's just an icon widget that shows the date, the month and the date. It also shows how many events you have uh, for that specific day, or you can adjust that to over three days so that it shows how many events. 
Then there is a thin widget, which is the same height as an icon, but can be anywhere from two icons wide to four icons wide. And that one shows your date. It also shows your different things that you have going on for uh, the next, basically the next three events, or you can set it to five, however you want that to appear. Then there's the 4x4 four four widget, which I have set up in agenda style, which shows me everything from today, tomorrow, Friday, and through the weekend. Um, I can see my different things coming up, and all I have to do is drag my finger over it up and down, and I can see my schedule uh, you know, all the way to probably seven or more days out. Looks like uh, I can just continue to scroll as long as I want, to be honest. Um, there are also arrows here that I can tap on. Um, I can refresh this. There are settings that I can adjust for that widget uh, right here as well. So um, that's probably the most powerful widget because it's big. Of course, it does take up a lot of screen real estate, but it's very powerful. Keeps you from having to go into your calendar application uh, to do something as simple as just look what's coming up in the next couple weeks. So this is a very cool application. Is it worth $4.99 for the pro version? I think it is because of course no ads that get in the way. Uh, and it also has uh, you know these great widgets and everything that show up. And I think it's worth $4.99. But you can go check it out for free and see if it's worth it to you. The business calendar doesn't necessarily mean that it's only good for business. It's just a great calendar experience overall and something that I can use on all of my Android devices and have the same calendar experience across all of them, which is what I like. So definitely check it out. If you're looking for a good calendar application, uh, go into either the uh, Android market or you can also go into the Amazon App Store, which is where I got it for $4.99 uh, in the Amazon Android market. So check that out. And we'll see you next time on State of Tech Android Tablet App of the Week.